I don't suppose you've got a cigarette. No, I don't smoke. That's where they do it, you know? That building right over there. That's where they do what? The hangings. Nine huh. o'clock tonight, I get to see what's inside. I hear they got 13 steps leading up to the gallows because 13's unlucky. And they want to make sure you go straight to hell when you die. But I got him beat. I outsmarted him. They're going to let me have whatever I want for dinner tonight. I got a steak coming, mashed potatoes, spinach, green beans. I never understood that about the last meal. But this guy on death row said that uh, said that when you drop, you foul yourself. And uh, whatever, whatever, whatever you ate comes out the other end. So I think that's what they want. They want whatever's in your stomach. To... They like knowing that you fouled yourself on your way to. You sure? You don't have a cigarette. Warden, the warden, Clinton Duffy, he's a good guy. He's, he's writing a book about all the, uh, about all the, the, the death sentences he's carried out in this place. 88 men and two women. That's what he's calling it. 88 men and two women. Sure got my record beat to hell. Mr. Northcott. Yeah. You asked me to come to see you today? Yeah. You said that if I did, you would tell me the truth about my son. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here. Yeah, you are. I. But see, the, the, it's easy to send a telegram, but I didn't. I'm, I didn't really expect you to come, and uh, now I, I didn't and now expect. What? I, I, I don't. I don't want to see you. What? I can't. I can't do this. I. I can't talk to you. Not here. Not today. Not now. Not knowing what they're gonna do to me. I mean, it's one thing to send a telegram. That's the easy part. But right here in person, I. I I can't tell you what Why you want not? to know. I can't. Why not? I can't tell you what you want to know, Mrs. Collins. All right? I can't because I don't want to die with a lie on my lips. I did my penance. I asked God, I asked God to forgive me for my sins and I have been good ever since. And if if I commit the sin now, if I lie now, then then I can't be forgiven again because there's no more time. There's no Mr. more time. Northcott, I, Mr. Northcott, look at me. Now look at me! Did you kill my son? Get away from me. Get away from Mr. me. Northcott? I am innocent. God! God! I am innocent! God! God! Any comment on your arrest? I'm feeling fine. I was on a little vacation, as some of you may know. A pleasant vacation. And the police have certainly provided me with a lot of amusement. How did you avoid capture? <laughs> I didn't, did I? I didn't even know I was wanted until just recently. Didn't even try. My initials are still on my luggage. Did you know why the police were after you? Huh? No. But I figured it's best if I just stayed out of it. Anything to say to the parents of the children you've murdered? No comment. Well? He had a couple cavities that needed filling. Um, he put up a fight, but I took care of it. And? Your son, Walter, had a muscle between his upper front teeth. It made him sit apart about an eighth of an inch. The boy in that room has no such gap. Does a gap like that get smaller with age? Because that's what they'll say. Yes. It is possible, it can happen, but Walter's teeth, the muscle prevents that from happening. See, his teeth can never grow together unless he has an operation to sever the muscle. And as near as I can tell, that boy has never had such an operation. Would you be willing to say that in a letter, yeah. officially? Uh, pardon my language, but hell yes. Uh, sounds like the anesthetic is wearing off. On the other hand, Maybe I'll write that letter first, give the little fellow something to think about. 